welcome back to It's a Vase Productions. Today I'm looking at Series 4, Episode 2 of Still Game. I am loving this show. I'm so glad you guys told me to watch it. And no further ado, let's just get to it. Classic Tam. Phil! Tam, what are you in for? Getting fitted with a new pacemaker in the morning. What are you? We've only had that one a couple of years. I know. I took the Grand Wains to one of them laser quests. Do you know, where the Wains shoot one another with laser beams and lights flash. The thing went off, it's nut. <laughs> I get cared. Oh, jeez, oh. So that's me, then. It's a bastard, too, because I was supposed to be going my holidays on Wednesday. Oh, uh, your time shared. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir, but it's well past visiting time. <laughs> Excuse me, then. Don't you recognise my face? Tam Mullen, hospital DJ. Oh, aye. I've seen your face on the radio. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you, fella. I'll be thinking of you. Keep strong. Keep positive. Hospital DJ. So, um. That your timeshare lying empty, is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Dirty bastard. Dirty stinking bastard. Dirty low order stinking bastard. Dirty low order hoaching stinking bastard. Bastard. Ah, he's a bastard. <laughs> I might well be a bastard, but in a week's time, I will be a golden brown bastard. A dying man's holiday off him. He's no dying. He's incapacitated. I'm doing him a favour. Who's swatching, you might call it? Pay the laggard, Bobby. Right. What have I missed? Oh. Well, there's Phil Johnson lying up in the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. And he can't get going his time share. Well, Tam's hoovered it after him. Dirty, low order, stinking. Ah, we've given that. <clears throat> Aye, good. Because that's you all, are not it, Tam? What? Sponging stuff off the hill. What's wrong with you? Stone deep. Nothing they can do. That's a shame. He's your walkman. Sure, Tom. <laughs> Who's doing your show while you're away? Well, that's a good question, Bobby. Timely, apt. You know what I never do? What's that? Buy Jack and Victor a pint. Would you like a pint, Jack and Victor, eh? Oh, a nice cold pint. Tasty, frothy. No thanks, no way, Jose. Oh, no. Oh, you're then spinning some records. No. Because then we would be accomplices in you stealing that man's timeshare off him. Well, I'm due a holiday. I've been up there for two years, nearly every week, playing records for they poor people. I have given tirelessly of myself. Mm. And for no reimbursement, apart from tea, sandwiches, and my weight and biscuits. Get a rest. Come on, Jack. The people have got nothing. Lying up there, no knowing what's coming next. Be it good news or bad news. There's no lot of joy in a hospital. A very lonely place if you're no well. My show is a glimmer of hope. A beacon of happiness to a lot of people who need it. I won't have that sullied. Not by yous, and not by anybody. New watch, Tam. John Gilchrist worked ten cancer. <laughs> Stealing from the dead. Well, it's not like they needed it. Family size bag of Nevlos, Navid. That's not a family size bag. Aye, it is. No, it's no. Oh, Jesus, it is. Take them. 80 pence. I'm not getting you 80 pence. That's not a family bag. Oh, Christ. Look. <laughs> this is a regular bag. This is a family bag. I know what a family size bag looks like. I should know. And that's 2B. That's all the way in the right, isn't it, Justin? <laughs> Tried them with vegetables and fish and meat. All he likes is a family bag of Revels. Well, you have the uh, Beanart, Garamel, 
coffee, orange, so I suppose all the food groups are represented. <laughs> 80 pence. He had these for his breakfast. Look at the size of it. That's a family bag. That is not No, you're right. That is a full size family bag. This is for you. A single parent family bag. 80 pence. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, he's got to pee or something. What are you up in now? What are you doing in there? Hello, it's hello, Barney, me. Oh, sit in your crate and eat that. Oh, come on, my back did a swimming here. Oh, Sophie, you're already done. I'm afraid you're going to die. Sophie, you're going to die. 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 When you're needing somebody's in there. Oh, my God, Isa. <laughs> You are rotten! <laughs> kind of haze here, you stinky boot! <laughs> right. Out you come. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, crap, what is that? <laughs> Start there. Oh. <laughs> Isn't your bag? Never mind what's in the bloody bag, Isa. Looks like LPs. What's this X ray vision? Aye, that's right, you're correct, it is LPs. <laughs> Most no Victor and I are standing in for Tam at the hospital radio for a week. Oh, that's good of you. I've got LPs on here, I know, good. see? Funny that, isn't it? I mean, what the chances us both standing here by a stack of LPs, eh? <laughs> Aye. Spooky. Come on. My way up to my wee dance evening at the community centre. That scene started up again, you see. And we each take turns at bringing our records. That's how I've got the help. The LPs! LP. Smash your eyes are good. Oh, here you might see Naveed up at the hospital. Naveed, how was the matter with him? Oh, I couldn't say that. That's a confidential thing, that. A man's health. Come on, Isa. He couldn't get a pee. Every <laughs> minutes he stood squeezing, shoving and grunting and not a drop. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, <laughs> well, here, Vincent, what's your part in all this radio business? I'm helping them. Oh, I help them. What? Running about after them like a sort of tea boy. <laughs> <laughs> you mark your diary, you go on my tits, <laughs> I was just thinking, if the boys don't need you, you might like to accompany me to the dance class where I was looking for partners and a big, handsome man like yourself. I'd be the envy of all the girls. <laughs> oh, Rose, Mary, I love you. Uh, well, um... I'm racking my brains here, Isaac, to come up with reasons why not. Oh, aye, that's right. I've only one leg, mm -hmm. I've never liked you, and this just in, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Good feeling, isn't it, being in the hospital and nothing wrong with you? Aye. Makes you appreciate your health, doesn't it? Aye. Oh, lads. Oh, look at this. There's your audience. There's no business like show business. <laughs> Are you helping us or what? Aye. Aye, right, well, come on then. <laughs> hey, oh, Tam. Right, come on, you're late. Sit down. What about that? Here. Right here. Oh. And what will you be doing? Stuff. Help. A lackey. What? A footman? A toady, if you will. Shut up. Right, Tam, um, how do I switch this mic on? Well, it doesn't matter how you switch the mic on. You don't need to talk, I never do. Just play some records. He never he talks. Talking. My head's full of shite for talking. Ah, <laughs> you've got loads of fish to say. Just uh, keep it simple. Yeah? When one record finishes, you put another one on. You don't need to talk. Oh, apart from on the hour every hour, you've got to get... This show is brought to you by Lanacare. Well, here it's coming up. Get a shot. Yeah, uh, right. Um, Mike, is it? This show is brought to you by Lanacare. Ooh, that's good. Uh. <laughs> right, lads, you're off air at ten. 
Yeah. I've got to go and get one uh, of these electrical bug mosquito killer things. Yeah. I've got one of them. Oh, have you? Could you lend me it? <laughs> I suppose so. Oh, that's great of you. That's a saving. Right, I'm away. You enjoy yourselves now. Well? Well what? Two teas, please. <laughs> Tea boy. Generally with men your age, it tends to be an enlarged prostate, but at this stage, I wouldn't rule out a stricture or a kidney stone block in your bladder. That's good, Doctor, but when can I piss again? Oh, that's what we're going to find out. I need to do an internal examination of your prostate. Oh, Jesus. Up the butthole. I'm afraid so. If you just roll onto your side for me, bring your knees up to your chest. And relax. You'll need to relax a wee bit more than that. Use some lube. A bit more than that. I'm trying to relax. There we are. Oi! <laughs> Any joy? I'm just going to press on your prostate. You may feel a slight discomfort. Slight, huh? I'll be the judge of Jesus! <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get you up to ward and we'll have you fixed in no time. Aye, right, good. Can you mean a day in that every time we need a was? <laughs> You should be up dancing, Liz. I'm saying, Liz here, she should be up dancing, eh? <laughs> and where's that Kenny of yours? He's usually with you. Lazy buggery. <laughs> Kenny's no deep, is it? Oh, jeez, oh. That sucks. It's just boring, isn't it? Why? It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. No. How are we not allowed to talk, Victor? Tam says we've got to talk. Yeah, but Tam's not here. I'm choking to talk. I'm choking to say, hi there, welcome to the Jack Jarvis Show. How is it your show? Well, I'm not being funny, but my name's got Mary a DJ ring to it, hasn't it? Jack Jarvis. So's mine. Victor McDeed. <laughs> no, that's no use. No, see, my name's got two letters the same. JJ, Jack Jarvis. Gyrate to Jack Jarvis. I'm Victor McDade, that's your record they played. <laughs> uh, the Jack and Victor show. What about the Victor and Jack show? <laughs> what about the Jack Jarvis and Victor show? What about Desert Island Dicks? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start talking. What do we say? Well, see, that's the thing. Your DJs just talk a lot of shite anyway, didn't they? Hi. Aye. Right, Winston. What? No, no mere tea, no way. No, no, not at all. <clears throat> You've been promoted to the position of collector of requests. Smashing. That's better. Aye. Take that pad and pen and go around all the wards and find out what everybody wants to listen to. Oh, Jack. Lanacare. Oh. And this programme was brought to you by Lanacare. Oh, by the way, if you're sitting there wondering, who's that strange voice in the radio? Well, I'll put you straight in the picture. Tam, your usual host, he's away on holiday. But standing in for him all this week is me, Jack Jarvis, and my good friend... <laughs> Vic Vaughan. Hey, Vic. Howdy, JJ. <laughs> Currently circulating the wards is our good friend, Winston Ingram. Collecting requests for your listening pleasure. For your delectation. For your enjoyment. Hope you enjoy this. This is Joe Laws with his rendition of Glenn Miller's 
in the mood. Hi, thanks for dropping in for dinner. Yes, I do know that song. She visits, sits for an hour, says nothing. She tans my grapes. It's like a family tree with no names on it. David, have you had your op? Aye, Winston. Ah, you're looking well. There couldn't have been much to it. No, there was nothing to it. It was a scush. Just three foot of cable jammed up my cock. I was missing blood in the bag for two days. What a laugh. Oh, Is that Jack God. and Victor heard on the radio? Aye. They're storing in for Tam. I'm taking requests. Oh, smashing. I'll take a uh, long in the And if they don't have that? Zindagi uh, Iksafara Sohana. Right. <clears throat> uh, MDLs. Anything Belina Horn? Righto. Yes. Daniel Beddingfield. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Come here, son. What can I do for you? Have you got Nelson Eddy singing Rosemary? Aye, aye, that we could probably do. How are you keeping? Aye, good. Can I come in? Aye, aye, sir. Do you know my trouble? What's that? I've got a move up the Clyde Tunnel. I've always been the same. Talk first, listen later. Margaret told me there about your cane, Lisa. I'm awful sorry. Aye. He loved this wee class. When we were getting ready, he'd be the one shouting, come on, come on, get your skates on. I really shouldn't still be coming. You know, my granny and granda loved their garden. When we were wee, they would let you play in it, but you had to be careful, like, as it was pristine. The beautiful flowers all round about it, and the wee lawn was like a putting green. They were rooting it every weekend, pottering about. But when my granda died, well, that was it. My granny wouldn't go out there. She let the garden run to seed. We tried to coax her to keep it nice, but she wasn't interested. Without him there, she didn't want anything to do with it. The place ended up like a jungle, a right mess, you know, covered in weeds. And I remember thinking, if my granda saw that, he'd be fizzing. No angry cos the garden was a maze, but angry cos she wasn't looking after it like the head. You've got to keep dancing, Liz. Oh. Seven multiplied by the nine times ten minus the five minus seven six one eight. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, you <laughs> bastard! I've used a seven twice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Winston. Hi, Tam. Where are you? At the airport? No, 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 yet. Eric's given me a lift in a minute. Oh, well, that's a taxi fare saved. Well done. What is it? Hey, do you have any sun cream? Sun cream? Look, I've given you everything else. Towels, shoes, case, sunglasses, the lot. Chase yourself. Yeah, ma, but you know that stuff's 8 99 a bottle. I'm fair skinned. I'll burn up. <laughs> 8 99 oh, Well, keep your bonnet on. No, come on now. What about that stuff you put in your head at the bowling? Factor 25. I got it for the chemist. The chemist? You about out my road, the chemist. Right, fine. Come round and get it. That's the game. See you in a minute or two.
quarter to 7.30. Time to hop on the feel-good bus for a trip down <coughs> memory lane. Jack! <laughs> Lighter than word, and I'm a man with a great experience. I know you got you another man, but I can love you better than him. Take my hand, don't be afraid. I wanna prove every word I say. I'm advertising love, so won't you put your hand with me? Boys will come my time out for loving, but that ain't nothing but kissing love. Pretty little thing. That was for Sheena, who's getting out this evening. Sheena Darlin, we hope we don't see you back in here again too soon. So, uh, what is it you're saying to people who are suggesting that the health service aren't doing enough? Well, the waiting list for operations is getting shorter. Well, I've got a pal, for instance, that's been waiting three years for a hip replacement. Um, what are you saying to him? Well, statistically speaking, that's... Ach, away and don't talk a lot of shite. <laughs> Now, here's a mention for a good friend of ours, Naveed. If you ever find yourself in Craigline, be sure to pop into Harid's General Store for your fruit, veg, bread and pipe tobacco. And, of course, a warm, friendly smile. That's my shop. That's my shop. <laughs> but don't expect to see him in the shop for the next few days, because he's in here with pisser problems. <laughs> Eh, uh, everything all right there? Aye, they're shifting me. Want to keep an eye on me. What about my song? Your song? <laughs> Nelson Eddy. Rosemarie. Oh, Jesus, aye. Did they not play that? I'll look into that for you. Good luck. It's uh, Winston, isn't it? Aye, hen. It would be good if you could play that record for Tommy. Today. How? I'm not sure he's going to make it through the night. All right. <sighs> Sorry, Winston. We haven't got it. That's how we've not played it. Oh, shite. Could we not just play him something else? Well, he's asked for it. And, <clears throat> well, looks like he's going to snuff it the night. Christ. Elsa and Eddie. Let's see, uh, that's the 1930s, isn't it? Aye. How does it go again? Uh, <clears throat> oh, Rosemary, I love you. I'm always dreaming. Hot arms, Nettie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in half an hour. <laughs> right, here we go. D Day. Or P day. <laughs> right, come on now. Don't let me down, my little lavda. Oh yeah, beauty. <laughs> and sea fishing. <laughs> Commence fishing. <laughs> oh yes, I fish it well. Like a man should. But I <laughs> am the prince of fish. And the princess finished fishing. Can the Duke take a dump? <laughs> <laughs> the Not so dump. fast. We're doing something for you, but what are you doing for us, good looking fella like you? Grim, that, eh? What's that? I'm well, being told that you're not going to see the morning. Aye. Now, 
that's we knew it's happening. I'll get the nurse. No, stay. Stay here. It's been a long road we've walked again. And I'm just sorry. You'll have to walk the last bit yourself. Got it. What's his name, Winston? Tommy. This one goes out to Tommy. Oh, Rosemary, I love you. See that coming? <laughs> oh man. I wanted to go out thinking of my girl on the side. Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus, that's him. <laughs> oh right that's good i mean i've yet to see a bad episode of this show but someone in the comments the other day was said the next episode meaning this episode was like their least favorite but i guess even least favorite is still a favorite um as far as their songs go why did i know them uh, in the mood. Uh, I used to be in band in high school. I played the trumpet. First trumpet. What up? And we had to play that song a lot. So yeah, I'm very familiar with when they were like in the mood. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then the other one was hard to handle, and I'm more familiar with the cover of it. I actually didn't even know that that was a cover until just now. So neat. Not that the one played, the one that I'm familiar with is a cover of the one that was in this show. Um, but yeah, fun episode. That was hilarious. At the end I was not, I did not see that bit coming with the wife. <laughs> oh man, that was good. All right. Another great episode. I'm looking forward to more, especially, you know, getting to season five, five and six is what a lot of people have said is the, the peak, the summit, the, the best, the creme de la creme, if you will. So I'm looking forward to getting to that. Always enjoying myself watching and uh, let me know what you thought in the comments of this episode and what your favorite series is, I guess not season. I'm going to keep, using those interchangeably. Anyway, see you next time. All right, that was another great episode of Still Game. You can check out more of my reactions to Still Game right there, and you can check out my music videos and trailers right there. And don't forget to like, and you can subscribe right there. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.